Another video on the Matzilla. Been making some steady progress lately and trying to get this thing wrapped up here as soon as I possibly can. For this video, I wanted to show you the new panels and skins that I made. Now, in general, the looks of my builds are just as important to me as the performance. Uh, the performance, you guys can't really tell by it sitting here on the bench, so it needs to look just as good. Otherwise, there's no point in really watching these. So, on all of my trucks, I try and have a very nice uh, wrap done for them. I think it, you can do a lot more detail with a wrap than you can with paint. So that's the way I like to go. And then if you'd like to, you can replace it or you can just change the design up. But once you have the templates made, it's very easy to come up with a, a wrap. For my custom skins on all of my trucks, I use FreakySkins.com. Uh, Neil's an awesome artist and he can do some great work. For this one, I decided to go with the Flying Lizard livery. If you guys are into racing much, you'll probably have seen Flying Lizard before. They've got some awesome cars. This is one that they have been running, I've noticed or lately, on the uh, Porsches that they ran. They ran them at uh, Daytona here a few weeks ago. And really, it's just a good looking wrap. Integrates a lot of orange, so worked out pretty well for me. So anyway, the uh, Flying Lizard livery is what we're going with on this thing. Now for the templates on this thing, I made those myself because uh, Matt Zilla, Lou, has not exactly had time to uh, create those templates. So I created them myself and uh, sent them over to Neil at Freaky Scans and he was able to uh, come up with the artwork then based on that. With a lot of input from me, I'm pretty picky with exactly how I want things to look. So Neil works with me uh, and uh, puts up with all of my little requests here and there. This is printed on a nice, super high quality, uh, laminated vinyl so the detail and a little uh, the finished quality on this thing is pretty amazing I'm always extremely happy with how the freaky skin stuff comes out and I haven't had anybody's stuff that looks quite as nice but anyway for these since this chassis is a custom chassis it doesn't come with panels now I came up with the templates for these uh, skins and I was just going to use that same template that I made and cut my aluminum panels based on that However, uh, I did that the first time and I really wasn't, the fit was just not quite getting there and things like that. So I ended up going with my old method of creating panels, which was to take and stretch blue painter's masking tape over the entire chassis, push through the little uh, nuts with a Allen driver to mark my holes, and then cut the blue painter's tape with a razor blade knife. Peel that off and then apply that right onto my aluminum panel. For my aluminum sheeting, I go to a local metal supplier, it's called Metal by the Foot. You can probably find a similar store in your area. I know there's metal cut to length and all kinds of different little names that are fairly obvious when you go there. But go there and see what you can get. I got a few pieces that were, well, much longer than this to start with, but they run like a dollar to two dollars a piece. This is O25 aluminum, the very thin, very flexible works great for panels and things like this. You can cut this with a pair of tin snips and it makes it very easy to make these panels. So for my panels, I've got all of my individual panels that bolt onto the chassis here with M3 screws. The very first thing I'm gonna do before I bolt them on though is I'm going to apply the uh, vinyl wrap to these panels first and then I'm going to put it on the truck. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So 10 minutes of install or so, and we're all wrapped up. Now we have a truck that looks much more complete and much more polished. A uh, simple addition of some uh, custom stickers like that makes a whole ton uh, difference compared to just a single color paint job with some uh, product stickers and things like that on there. So this is something that I really encourage anyone who's really trying to make a build look a little bit uh, to the next level or something like that. A set of skins like this can really do that. And you know, there is other options and places to do it, FreakySkins.com is just the place that I like to use. You know, again, this is a full custom wrap, and they do full custom wraps for uh, all kinds of different bodies as well. If you just want to do like a, a new wrap on a honcho body or something along those lines, a Jeep, a, a axial Jeep of any sort, it's sure a lot easier to do this than it is to put 15 hours into a paint job too. So, and this is easily replicatable, and if you want to tweak something a little bit here or there, 
also pretty easy to do. That's where the build sits for now. We've got uh, pretty much wrapped up. What I do plan, I still have to wait on my new wheels. Right now I've got the new, uh, or a new set of Pitbull Rock Beasts sitting on here with a new set of Crawler Innovations foams in them, but I still need to do some testing on these foams. They're a little bit different than uh, what he's had for sale before. So I uh, plan to do some testing with those here very soon. But uh, my Vanquish wheels are what I'm waiting on now. And that is what I will use to widen the track width and the rear out to uh, more closely match the front end. I'm not gonna widen it completely out to match the front, but just a little bit wider than stock. So um, that's where we're at for right now. Hopefully we've got an update coming up here very soon when those wheels come. Got a few other little details to hit on this thing. But other than that, uh, we're in a pretty good shape to do our first test runs. After that, we will start to do some upgrading on different components within the drivetrain. And uh, I'll also get some reviews done on things like that new Holmes Hobby Servo that I've sitting up front. So that's all I got for this video. Pretty simple one, but a pretty big visual change when you're looking at it like this. So uh, that's all I got for now, guys. And we will uh, see you on the next one.